My school community has been asking me to cover Sales Samurai for months now. So I finally gave in, grabbed myself a subscription, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use this tool to level up your Etsy game and crush your competition. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is Sales Samurai here. It's your all-in-one tool for massive Etsy growth as they show here for SEO. So as you go through, you have this light. Now you do have the option to do light or dark, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second, just to show you that some of the features here um, you have long tail keyword search, tags, price spread, competition. You know, you can go through all this and your research. Uh, this is just a little bit of information about it. You know, you can also go into their blogs on where they talk about different things that are going on with Etsy and niches, as well as, you know, their actual software. So let's just jump right on here um, just to go through. As soon as you log on, like I said, you do have the option to choose light or dark. This is completely up to you and how you want that to be set up. You also do have a Chrome extension and an uploader here. Now, as soon as you go on, you have your tutorials right over on the left. And this is nice because it gets you all these different tutorials on how to set up a calendar, well, how to look at the calendar, uh, the competition tracker, the search, different shops, listing creator, uh, your Chrome extension and uploader. So it's pretty nice that it gives you all that right there as soon as you start in so that you know what to do. Now you have the search option, that's the first thing. You have basic search or single listing. It's completely up to you on what you want to do here. So let's start with, um, how about, it is Mother's Day coming up, so we're just gonna stick with the Mother's Day thing like I did in the last video. So let's see, Mother's Day shirts, how about that? All this information is listed. You'll see it starts giving you all the data on how much competition, uh, gives you some trends here as well as Google most trending. Oh, I like that, the Google part. So also click, oh, this is really nice. So, you know, I've never used this system before, but I'm already spotting some things I really like immediately as soon as I clicked on this. So one is the CTR. Click-through rate is really important, especially if you're running ads. Plus uh, cost per click. So CPC is cost per click on Google. So if you're running ads on Google or even maybe Facebook, because they kind of are similar in those ad spends, uh, being $2.17, sense is because it's really popular right now we're april going into may so that's why this cost per click is a little higher than average also the ctr is a little higher right so scrolling through and going deep diving a little bit more you can see long tail keyword because it would be long tail multiple words together you can see the competition for this long tail keyword here as well and also the google competition showing that it's high again it is closing in on mother's day that is why it's so high in competition that's why this cost is a little bit more um, this right here 8100 that's how many searches are averaging right now and then on top of that like i said before i love how it's showing what's trending on google because a lot of people purchase from google and also off-site ads on etsy i get a lot of them from the google Shop. Um, Google Shop is when you type in something and at the top it'll have those little listings there. I'll even show you right now. So as soon as I go into say Google, if I type in Mother Day shirts right here, this is what comes up, right? All the different shopping. So if I click on shopping here, you can see where they're coming from. These are all people running ads. And then as you see right here, Etsy. This is where the offsite ads push you, okay? So you can kind of get an idea on, you know, where they're coming from and then how Etsy's pushing you on here and then how much they're actually paying per cost. So when you see uh, like 15% or 12% uh, coming from offsite ads, right? And you're wondering, wow, am I getting ripped off? You're not, because you can see right here that the cost per click is $2.17. So who knows how many times they're clicking on your ad before they actually make a purchase. If they click say 10 times, that is literally 20 dollars that Etsy spent just to get your stuff out there and then they're only charging you 12 percent for that sale so just think about that this is really good information to throw that out there and help you guys right so now you can see the search volume based on these other trending ones as well which is very helpful you can see here the search volume with the competition so right here mother's day shirt png this will be a digital uh, item they only have a 81,000 in the competition now mother's day in general that is a really broad keyword so that is why that right there has almost 4.4 thousand in the competition search volume is also a lot higher than these other ones right and mother's day gift also a lot higher now it's interesting that the competition for mother's day gift is oh i see why see they are missing the t this is where this is where this is also very helpful just even seeing this right here that bringing all the trending things so because people are searching and they're typing so fast they may be forgetting that t when they're searching which means this is a keyword that you can actually add and then grab 
grab. Being as the search volume is showing 20,000 searches and you have a low competition, when they accidentally type in that keyword by mistake, now you can target these people with less competition. And the CTR rate is almost 8%, which is great. That means, you know, out of 100 clicks, eight people clicking, going in, right? So you can even go into page two to see, it's gonna load that list data. And after it loads it again, see somebody else messing up things, messing up things with the date. Um, what I would like to do is the CTR. I mean, this is so important. What I want you to do is load from the CTR in here. Like I said before, if you missed it, CTR is click-through rate. So how many people are clicking? So 15.8%. It's almost 16%. So every 100 people, 16 are clicking. Competition, 62. This one right here, 34. This one, 56, 61. See how we killed that competition? We brought that down a lot just by seeing that. In addition to that, you know, the click-through rate is important. Here, the search volume, everybody always concentrates on search volume versus competition. Okay, well, how many people are searching and how much competition do you think I'm going to survive in that? This is where you should put in your concentration because this is where the money is. How many times are they clicking on something, right? Then over here, if you're running ads, I love how they have the cost per click because this just shows, right? Mother's Day gift shirts. If somebody's gonna type in this, your cost per click is $4, which is insane. But like I said, we're coming close on Mother's Day. That's why that price is so expensive. Look at this one down here, $6.75. That's because this right here, uh, as we saw before on there, the competition was kind of high because of missing it out, but the CTR was really high, right? So let's see, uh, Mother's Day Stanley. Okay, well, we're not selling Stanleys here. We looked up shirts, right? But going into page two, break this down. You can see here, cost per click. What I would do in this is I would look for something low. So here we go, page three and page four, we start seeing these lower ones, right? Uh, Mother's Christmas, of course, that's gonna be low, right? Coloring pages, search volume, 14,800, right here, Mother's Day coloring pages, 25 cents per click, Mother Day books, right? Coloring books, which you can easily make with ChatGPT, which I showed that in a previous video on how you do characters, right? So I'll make sure I link that below and all the ChatGPT features that you could do with making characters and things like that. So definitely check that out because this right here is searched up a lot on Google and 25 cents per click, meaning this right here, if I search this up on Google, you'll see the first one right here, Etsy, $5.14. Now, if somebody clicks on that, it's only gonna cost Etsy 25 cents. Then, with the CTR of this, I mean, how much would that be? Let's see. Let's look up that. All right, pulling that up, 9%. <laughs> oh my God, 9%. So every nine out of 100 people are gonna click on this, right? The competition, only 5,800. And you see that cost per click was 25 cents for this. It's right here. There's another one right here, Mother's Day coloring pages, 253. Another one right here, $5. That's how you find gaps in Etsy and how you make money. So right here, pulling up this program within just a couple minutes, we've already found some gaps and some things that we would be able to sell, target, and save money with ad spend, as well as dominate due to the low competition. So already I'm loving this program. Uh, let's go a little farther here. So we could see down as you scroll down, I haven't even scrolled down yet. So it gets even better. We have which ones are the top competition, how many likes, how many views, uh, what their price is. Obviously there's no shipping days because we did search up this the coloring pages which means that it is a digital item so before I click on one of these I want to scroll down a little bit more just see more all right so right here uh, this would be shipping days how long and the shipping cost so we'll pull that up in another one because I didn't obviously I'm on a digital item so if I click here this is gonna go to Etsy if I click here it's probably gonna go into more details up oh, it does perfect we can see how many they have how many views they had how many monthly views they have this is obviously gonna go up as we're getting into Mother's Day, as you see by the likes. Uh, it was created here. It's been a pretty long time uh, that they've had this created, right? I wish that it would break down how many sales they had. I don't see that, unfortunately, but I do like this, where you have your unique category, beginning of the title, in the description. See all these red? You don't want this. Like they're missing out on so much opportunity. So this would be good if you have your shop connected right here and you can see what opportunities you're missing out on. So let me go back to a physical product here. Mother's Day shirts. Okay, so now that, that loaded, I'm gonna scroll down so we can see this right here. Now this is much different because obviously it's gonna have 
multiple photos, a lot more likes, a lot more views because it's a physical product and a lot of people, you know, want physical items for their Mother's Day. So as we scroll down, we can see the different uh, prices. That's nice. We can also see shipping days, how long it takes. Nobody is over 10 days. Okay, so that's good. We know that a lot of things aren't coming from China because usually it does take anywhere from 15 to 20 days sometimes, especially towards holidays. We can see the shipping costs. So right here, 76% of the people have free shipping. That's wild. I don't even offer free shipping. Right here, zero to ten dollars is sixty-eight. Ten to twenty dollars. Oh, these people! My God, seventy dollars. Three people are seventy dollars for shipping. That is wild. All right, but most people are right here in the free shipping. I charge shipping. I do charge uh, $4.99 and $5.99 depending on the products I sell. So I don't really find it necessary. I do char I do offer free shipping for orders over $35 though. So um, let's go into one of these, right? So this one right here, it's got 917 likes, 93,000 views. We're going to click on this and deep dive a little bit further. It was created in 2021. So it's been around for a while. This is the current price. This is their quantity of <laughs> 52,000. Um, but as you see, look at all the green, right? All the green. Now, of course, it's not in the beginning of the title because nobody's gonna put Mommy and Me outfits right in the beginning of the title. But it's in the description here for Mommy and Me shirts, First Mother Days. None of this other stuff is in the description. So they don't have the customizable in there. Um, they don't have, you know, right here, Mom Day shirts. They don't have baby matching mom. Well, they may have baby matching. We can actually see the description just by clicking here. So if I went into here and I typed in customizable, right? Let's do that. No, they don't. They don't have that in the description. That is wild because that is a huge keyword that they're missing out on. So right here, again, if you had your listing and you're checking it out with this system, you'd be able to see right here, this red, what, what you need to do to make this green because these things are important in your title as well as in your description. So they pull it. Now in the description wise, it would have to be within those first three sentences. And the reason being is because of how Google pulls things. When they're doing offsite ads, they want the first three sentences of your product so that it pulls that data. Those keywords is what Google uses. That's why it's so important. So in this case, Case, you would want something like this in there. Customizable is a huge keyword. Um, custom, again, they don't even have that in their description. That is wild to me. They do have 10 photos though. The photos definitely could use some work here. It's just some lay flats. So if they had a picture of, you know, a mom and daughter, that would have been great. But as you see, this is how you would use this option for the search. Pretty easy. Again, I know I keep talking about it, but the CTR and cost per click, that's wild. That right there, I'm gonna keep this program just for that because it's gonna help me so much on ads. You have no idea. That's just, I love, I love that. Okay, so let's go to listing creator. So as you're doing a listing creator, if you're gonna type in Mother's Day shirts, we're gonna click next. Okay, well, this is nice. So creating a listing, you can create it right from here. This is always most of the difficult part on people creating listings because this is where they mess up and they accidentally put it as that it's handmade and it's not, you know, you're usually using POD or something like that. So this is really important. If you're confused on this one, definitely check out this video right here where I cover it on how to do it on Etsy. But being as that this is in the system, this will make things so much easier. You go down, you know, a member of my shop or another company, who was it, a finished product, a supply, it's finished, who made it? You can put when they made it. Oh, wow, this is really good. Then you go into the category, all right. You can put your description right in there, that's nice. Mother's Day gifts. How about that? You put your tag, Mother's Day. I wish it would give me a little like a um, note on there, like a number. That would be really cool if it gave me a number as I'm typing it. Like, hey, this is ranked such and such. You know, that would be really cool. Uh, material, let's just say cotton. And then price, $20. Enter quantity. What did that person have? 52,875. <laughs> oh, 52. <laughs> All right, so clicking next. Okay, then you have your shipping profiles. You can choose which one. You can update this. I don't have any right now. Item weight, okay, that's nice. I would have to choose this here. 
I'm just doing one, 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 just to see what happens. And then if we hit next, we would add our photos and then it would list it. Now I'm not gonna go through all that because I don't wanna list anything. I was just showing you um, this feature, which is pretty cool. You have a competition tracker over here, which is nice. So I already found um, a company and I listed it just to have it live here. So how many sales they had, listings they have, likes they have, and how long they've been in business. So right here, I can click on this to go to Etsy or I can click here for their sales history, which is nice. I can see how much they're selling pretty much almost on a daily basis, which is nice. You know, how many, oh, that's cool. How many likes they have, how many new listings that they added. That's cool. So knowing that they're not adding too many, all right, they have 48 sales in March. I wish I could dive a little deeper into this, but that's not bad. Right, and I can have keywords. So I have one already for custom mug, just to test this out. You can see the competition, average price, you know, if it's going up or down. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I like the actual going through and searching and then going into that way because I have a little bit more information. I wish that I had a little bit more in that on the actual overall shop, but you know, it's, it's pretty good, especially for the price that we pay for this. So next is favorites. If I have any favorites, I don't, unfortunately, I have not, you know, used this program uh, entirely yet. I just started playing around with it. Pretty much this is all stuff that I'm doing in real time. I like to give a real reaction. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, now calculator. Okay, the calculator is nice. Yeah, oh wow, you have a return on investment calculator. Now, a lot of people don't know ROI. ROI is super important. You need to know your return on investment. If you're putting money out there, you need to know how much money you're getting back. What net profit are you getting? So that's important. So then after you calculate how much you're going to make after a sale on Etsy, you just take that price, throw it in here. Now you'll be able to see, okay, well, how much is the cost per click? How much are you spending on your ads, your ad views, your orders, your revenue from the ads? This, this is great. I love this. Again, the CTR, the cost per click, this, this is important. These three features right here, are amazing and it's very important, especially when you spend money on ads. You need to know how much money you're spending on ads and if they're working for you. Because if you're just throwing money out there and hoping something sticks and saying, okay, well, I spent $100, well, how much of the $100 did you make back? That's the most important because if you're just spending money aimlessly, then you don't know if your return on investment's good or bad. So this is a really great feature to have. Okay, so the last thing here is calendar. We're gonna click on this. This is pretty cool. Um, fun at work day. A lot of these probably won't help you so much on selling on Etsy, but they will help you with social media. Social media loves this stuff like Instagram and Facebook. You ever notice like pet day and everybody's throwing pictures of their pet or daughter day or you know Sunday or bring you know my family to work day. Everything like that, it blows up on social media. So this would actually work and you can kind of gain a following by seeing this like world party day. Post a picture and be like, it's party day. Uh, you know, tell a lie day, tell two truths and a lie. There we go. Well, this unfortunately has passed because it's April 9th when I'm recording this video. So that unfortunately has passed. Um, going here, be kind lawyer day, be kind to a lawyer. <laughs> Okay, Jelly Bean Day, here we go. This video will be out before that. So remember, Jelly Bean Day is on the 22nd. You better put something on social media for that. DNA Day, Pretzel Day. Oh, I'm getting a pretzel, I love pretzels. Honesty Day, there. So since you missed the lie day, you could do this one and be like two truths and a lie. That'll work for you. Um, Batman Day, if you sell in that niche, you know, that'd be really good. No Pants Day. <laughs> Some of these. All right, well anyway, as you see, this program has a lot of features and it has a lot to offer. Uh, one more thing, let's just talk about the pricing here. So if we go to pricing, the pricing's not too bad at all. It's $9.99 monthly. And actually before I shot this video, I reached out to Sales Samurai, said, hey, everybody's been asking about this in my you know community, my school community, Etsy Mentor, and they're really curious about it. So they actually offered 20% off for you to test this out. They also do give you a three day free trial. So just use Etsy Mentor and you'll get 20% off. That brings the price down to what, $8? So just for the CTR alone, that's an amazing price. Check that out. I'll also put the link below for that as well as the code so you don't forget it. Very grateful. Thank you, Sales Samurai, for offering that for my community. I love that. You know, I'm always trying to provide them with as much value as possible. So I hope that this video did that. And I'm so happy that you allowed me to offer some sort of sale for them. Um, I know they appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. So thank you guys. So anyway, check this out. Really cool stuff. I'm gonna stop again really quick. This.
So as you saw, Sail Samurai is packed with features, but the one thing that really stood out to me was that CTR data. That's huge, especially if you're running ads like I do. Now, if you're not familiar with why the click-through rate matters so much, then check out this video right here. I break down the pros and cons of running ads. It'll make it crystal clear on why that feature is so important. Now, as always, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. You know I love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.